Hey, good evening guys, Tesh coming at you. Wednesday, January 21st, and just coming up to 7 o'clock. Thought we'd jump out in the garage uh, straight after work and uh, see if we can uh, make a little progress on this uh, frame repair section. So I uh, did manage to get some steel, so I've got some uh, 16 gauge over there. And uh, I got some template making tools over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some, uh, some templates and I think what we're going to do is uh, probably do a three piece repair out of these uh, sections or we're going to try, we're going to attempt one anyway. So we're going to make a template of these, uh, of these rails and we'll make them a little longer than need be. So we're making a top and a bottom and then we're going to weld in a piece of flat steel, shaped flat steel um, to the top and bottom and we'll see how that works out and see if I'm happy with that. So that's the plan. So uh, we're going to have to start by making some templates, like I said. So uh, we're going to get to it, and then we're going to trace them out, and we're going to do some cutting. And if we're not too tired, we'll do a little bit of uh, welding tonight, or at least some tacking, to see if this is going to work. So we'll play around a little bit and see how, uh, how we make out, and uh, we'll give you an update along the way. Okay, hey guys. guys, I doubt I'll be able to do this one-handed, but this is the, uh, the gist of it. So uh, we have a, a template, basically, to go on the... Uh, on the top rail. Let me just see if I can. And then we're going to have a side rail template, which we will weld in. We'll mold it and weld it in to this piece, and then we'll have a bottom piece the same as the top piece that we'll make the bottom section out of. So we'll run a uh, weld along the uh, top outside and we'll run some weld on the inside and that should suffice I would think. So that's I think what we're going to attempt to do and we'll see how she turns out. Alright guys. Good afternoon guys, Tush coming at you. Friday afternoon, January the 23rd. Looking forward to a good weekend out in the garage and we've got a good start to it. Had some help from my uh, buddy Les who uh, has a sheet metal brake and uh, a roller and uh, shear and we fabricated some bits uh, to fix up this uh, center section here we're getting back to that so we have our uh, we are going to do this in a uh, sort of three piece repair for those frame rails so we have the uh, the top and bottom pieces that will go something like that <clears throat> again these haven't been trimmed or ground yet so they're just sort of a rough fit then we've got our side pieces that we fabricated that will drop in there and be welded. Again, needs to be trimmed to, to fit, but uh, that'll go in there. And then, the, of course, the bottom piece will go on as well. And then we're going to trim to fit it in the frame rail where we want. We've actually made it a little long, as you can see right now. But uh, I'm going to trim that up after I get it all welded up, and we'll see how we, uh, we do. We'll probably end up cutting off the frame rails before we cut off the repair piece because we don't obviously have a repair piece that's too short. So those are those pieces and if you recall there was the box section so uh, we've bent up uh, a new box section as well so this looks nice, nice and sturdy, nice and clean so that box section will just sort of drop on that area afterwards and we'll get her lined up a little bit better so that's the new center box section and then we've got the new uh, plate section that will fit on the bottom and be spot welded along this uh, this seam. So that's looking pretty good so that gives us something to uh, to work with. Quite happy about that and uh, again thank Les for the help on that. Big help for me and uh, we still need to fabricate this one other piece uh, which is this the little uh, end cap piece where the exhaust fits through got to pretty much be looking like that one um, so we'll have to uh, after we, when we cut this frame away we're gonna have to take a look at this piece and bend up a piece of metal for that and cut out the uh, the holes for the exhaust pass through so that's it for now guys so you've got an idea where we're going and uh, we'll start welding things up shortly and we'll bring you back when we make some progress All right, guys, I'll give you a quick update just to get the gist of what I'm doing here so uh, just attack uh, this top piece and uh, it's looking pretty good. So that will go something like that. Once that 
rails cut out. Obviously we're going to shorten it. Like I said, the hope is to pick this rail up here, uh, just behind this section. So this is going to be shortened and then we'll pick this one up. Uh, we'll have to pick this up ahead of this section. So we'll pick it up probably in here somewhere. So we're making that a little bit, uh, a little bit longer than need be. But uh, anyway, we'll uh, finish weld that. Uh, actually, I think what we'll do is we'll probably put the bottom section on and we'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll finish weld the uh, top and bottom together. Maybe I'll keep it a little bit more uh, intact and keep it from uh, wanting to close up on itself. I may get a block or a bolt or something to stick in there to keep the, uh, the channel open. Anyway, come back in a bit, guys. All right, guys, here's a quick look at that piece uh, fully welded. And... Uh, Good penetration on the inside, so we're going to grind that down nicely, and we'll uh, put the bottom cap on. All right, guys. All right, guys, just a quick shot of the two pieces uh, in place where they're going to go. Just got to cut that frame and weld those in. And uh, we'll be off to the races. All right, we'll come back. All right, guys, there's the uh, center section cut out. There she is there. Looking a little worse for wear. So. There's the pieces over there ready to go. So we'll try to get those in tonight. All right, guys. All right, guys, quick update. Just coming up to 20 to 11 on uh, Friday night. And we've got the, uh, the two repair pieces tacked in there. And I think they're going to be okay. They were uh, a little bit of a challenge to fit. They actually fit really well as far as the uh, curvature is concerned. We're just actually trying to, you know, trying to get them in there and get them trimmed down to the right length and uh, and everything so that was a little bit of a challenge there's a lot of a lot of grinding and trial fitting you didn't obviously want to make them too short so lots of uh, putting them on taking them off and uh, yeah it was a little bit of a challenge but they're in there so they're just tacked in there right now we'll go back uh, tomorrow and uh, we'll finish weld that area up but I think they look pretty good looks a heck of a lot better than what was there that's for sure which was basically nothing so anyway there's a good look at it from uh, from this end like I said, we'll get back out here tomorrow. We'll uh, finish welding the top side. We'll flip the frame over, and we'll do the bottom side. We still need to make that uh, repair panel uh, to go uh, in the center before the uh, box section goes on. And uh, we'll hopefully do that tomorrow. I'm uh, going to have to do a little bit more bending and uh, find out a creative way to uh, cut that hole for the uh, exhaust out. 
so that's it for tonight guys we'll upload this and we'll get back out here tomorrow all right we'll talk to you later